First pitch from Schaefer. Off the mark, and we're underway, 1-0. Hard bouncer up the middle, and it squeaks through. Leadoff single for Austin White. And Coastal Carolina with about the best start possible. A man on, no outs here in the top of the first inning. You would have imagined for him. Runner takes off, and it's skied. Shallow right field, foul ground, Stokely chasing it, and it drops on the line. It's fair. White had tagged up at first, so he sprints to second. Lucky squares again. That's beautifully placed. Schaefer fields himself. The underhand toss not in time. Bases loaded with no outs. And up comes Eric Brown. Big swing. Brown lifts it to deep right field. Back to the track is Zarate making the grab. A throw over to second. In time. The runner is out. Chanticleers score a run, but a couple of big outs for North Carolina here in the top of the first. Weak contact over to Matt Horvath at third. The throw is there. Tag made by Hunter Stokely. I'm up. First pitch swinging. There's a rocket out to deep left center field. Off the scoreboard, Dale Thomas. A mammoth home run to make it two to nothing, Coastal Carolina. Did not wait long on that pitch. Boy, that got out of here in a hurry, hitting the scoreboard. Three hits, three Ks so far. Alberto Osuna, though, looking to change that in a hurry. Line drive single on the first pitch he sees. Line drive, that's punched through. A base knock in a pinch hit situation for Reamer, and now they're at the corners with one away for North Carolina. Great play to get Osuna over from first to third. Swung on, there's a drive that's down in left. It'll be an RBI single for Vance Honeycutt, and North Carolina draws it within one. Perfect positioning once again from Vance Honeycutt, getting that ball out to left field, solid contact. Hard ground ball over to Brown, the backhanded snag, and the throw over to third gets by Thomas. Everybody's safe, bases loaded for North Carolina. Their base is loaded. Weak bouncer, back to Parker. Three more stranded for North Carolina, but they get one run back and trail it by one. 2-2, we... two, two, two away. Osuna, a lined shot, down for a hit. He's going to turn and try to make it two. And he does. It's a double for Alberto Osuna. Another one and two. Lined, and it's down. Base knock. Osuna comes home to no throw, and it's tied at two. The 2-2 two -two to Stewart. Swung on and missed. Parker strands a base runner after North Carolina ties it at two, and he gets through five. Line drive. That finds the ground in right center. Underwood's going to push for two, and it's bobbled at the wall. Underwood on his way to third, diving, and safe, just made it under the tag. Under third, but the three and one misses inside, and it's a walk to put runners at first and third. Of Carolina. Matt McDermott, the senior nine-hole batter, lays down the bunt. Mott squeezes it, but cannot handle a toss to home. The run scores on a squeeze bunt by Matt McDermott. Three to two, Coastal Carolina leads. And two in scoring position. Called strike three, he got the outer edge. Second strikeout for Kyle Mott. That one driven to center field. A single for Tomas Frick. Line drive, that's through. Consecutive hits for North Carolina. Madej's going to try and push it to third, and he's there. Outstanding play. Outstanding running by Madej. Going from first to third. Great at-bat by Soretti. 
Up the middle, and it's through an RBI single. Johnny Kastignazi ties it at three in the bottom of the nine. Just exactly what Kastignazi needed. Good placement right up the middle. He lifts it, it's down and left. Is this it? It is. North Carolina walks it off off the bat of Mac Horvath. And they take it four to three. Out of the bottom of the third. The two on, another big fly ball off the bat of Thomas. This one will carry, and this one will sail over the left center field fence and into the scoreboard for his second dinger of the series. Thomas has gone deep for the fourth time this year, his 13th RBI, and Coastal has the lead on Carolina. In the top of three, it's 1-0. And then, of course, in 2020, COVID cut everybody's year short. As Zarate drives the 2-1 pitch down the line and right, it's to the wall, and Zarate standing at second with a two-out double. The hitting streak now stands at 12 games in a row. The 0-1. Hit the other direction into right field. It is falling and down on the ground, in for a base hit. Zarate running on contact, runs all the way around to score. Here's the 2-1 to the plate. Soretti fights off a pitch, softly flies into shallow left field, and a diving backhanded catch made right at the line by the shortstop, Eric Brown. Probably saved a base hit. Here's the payoff pitch. Low for ball four. That's uncharacteristic, just the third walk of the season, up against 15 strikeouts for Mott. The payoff pitch. Line drive into center field. Honeycutt coming in, diving. Did he make the catch? No. Ball squirts out of his glove. And advancing from first to third, Thomas lucky in at first base. 22, but again, it's still early as the 2-1 pitch. Lined over to left field. Zarate makes the catch, comes up throwing. The ball gets to the plate, but it's late as Thomas tags and slides in head first to put the shot to clears up by a run. 2-1 in the fifth on the sack fly RBI by Eric Brown. Arm he's faced. And the first pitch, grounded over to second. Castagnazzi boots it, throws to first. Did he get him? Just in time by a stride, the inning is over. Would have been an inopportune time to boot another one. Second. The payoff pitch. A low fastball and ball four. Tar Heels have the lead runner aboard to begin the sixth. First pitch gets away from Rongarena to the backstop and cast Ignazi down to second on a wild one. There's a pitch to Stokely and a bouncing ball up the middle past a diving attempt by McDermott. Cast Ignazi rounds third, comes in the score, and we're tied at two in the sixth. Another two out base hit by the Tar Heels. Hunter Stokely knocks this game up. And there's ball four, no doubt about it. Outside, pushing Stokely down to second. Stewart to first. Jablonski's pitch. Honeycutt, a line drive at one hops the second baseman, throw over to first. And Coastal had that defended well. McDermott barely had to move as he gets his man Honeycutt to end the inning. It's the count to the Coastal catcher. The pitch, line hard in the left. Zarate is back at the track, reaches up, can't get it. Ball's up against the wall. Guangarina's got a two-out double, and Coastal Carolina won that battle. The 2-0. Fastball came in and barely grazed, and we could hear it up here in the booth. There's that mid-90s fastball by Palermo. 2-2 offer into the plate. There's a base hit past Horvath into left field. Zarate comes up throwing. This play at the plate will be close, and that ball is on target, on time, and inning over. Zarate does it again from left field. You couldn't have drawn that one up any better. Zarate put it the only place Brick could apply the tag, and simultaneously, the ball arrives in the glove. The tag applies to Guangarina. Coastal's beside themselves looking for a replay. The ball was hit so hard was positioned perfectly to come up throwing. 
And again, the inning isn't over just yet. It looks like there'll be a replay here. But at least from the naked eye, I've got a tough time thinking that there'll be indisputable evidence that Guan Garuna somehow got his foot under the tag of Frick. And after a relatively quick review, half the umpiring crew comes back out onto the field and the call is now overturned. Nothing into the count. Palermo fires. Fly ball into right. Stewart took a giant step forward, now retreats, angling towards the line, makes the catch. As he leads off the eighth, the 1-1 pitch. Off speed and tattooed to deep center field. White's on the run, at the track, at the wall, and Osuna's just tied this sucker up. Osuna rounds the base pass to a hero's welcome at the plate. 3-3 three, three our score, game on from Chapel Hill. For that loss to ECU. First pitch, fastball. Frick lines it into center field, and there is the aforementioned game-winning run in front of it. The 3-2. Upstairs, ball four. Castagnazzi takes first. With Horvath at the plate. The 1-0. Horvath skies it into shallow center field. Brown is back. The shortstop called off by the left fielder. Deep in the bullpen here on a Sunday. As you seven total arms and O'Brien uh, walks Brown. Another righty for the Tar Heels if it gets that far. Here's the 3-0 pitch to Weiss. And the fastball misses high, ball four. O'Brien has walked two of the last three. Looking from out of the stretch with that wind whistling across Bryson Field. First pitch popped up right side. Castig not to the second baseman trotting towards first base. It's nothing and one to the big lefty from out of Wilson. Hot shot over to first, takes a bounce, jumps over Weiss and into right field. Stokely aboard with a one out base knock. First pitch to Stewart, runner takes off, swing and a miss. Juan Garuna's throw to second, not in time. And Carolina's got a runner in scoring position with one out, Reese Holbrook. Bounced in the dirt, gets away from Juan Garuna into the Carolina dugout. And Holbrook down to third base. A third payoff pitch. Outside, Stewart loses the bat, loses the shin guard, and heads down to first base. The 0-1 to Honeycutt shows Bunt, puts it down right in front of the mound. The pitcher comes in, flips to Guangarina, covering the plate, and Holbrook punched out. That's just the second out of the inning, though. Holbrook at first and advancing down to second is Stewart, so the inning is not over yet. Now Zarate steps out, and time called behind the plate. Coastal issues a free pass, and Zarate goes down to first base. Fires, and Grants pulls one into left field. Let's walk it off again. Carolina wins, 4-3. And the celebration from last night on Franklin Street continues this evening on Bryson Field.